Welcome back to another episode of SharePoint Framework for Beginners. Today, let's take a look at the web part and let's add some properties. Let's dive straight in. Okay, so so far we've templated out our web parts. Now let's have a look at them. So if we look at our welcome web part code, we'll notice that it passes in description, whether we're in dark theme or not, an environmental message. We'll have a look at this during the series, whether we're in the context of Teams and what the user display name is. But we're interested in this description. This is a property, something that can be read by the web part. So I'm going to type gulp serve and we'll add in our welcome web part. Now you'll notice with our default web part that if I click the edit web part, it's got a property welcome in there. Okay, so I want to add three different properties, one for if it's morning, one for if it's midday, and one for if it's evening. Okay, so morning, afternoon, and evening. So the way I can do that is go to my code, and I'm going to stop that from running. And what I need to do is in the welcome web part.ts, we need to scroll down right to the bottom and you'll see we've got, let's expand that out a bit. We've got these groups uh, in here. Okay, so if I look at that, we've got a group name, we'll leave that as basic group name, and we've got group fields. In this case, we've got a description field label. So I'm going to add a few others in here. I'm going to add in a property paint hex field. So that's essentially, you know, just get, it's not like a toggle, which is a Boolean, but I'm going to call this one uh, morning message. And I'm going to go into here, have a label. And at the moment, I'm just going to put this one in here, strings dot uh, morning message label. Now it will give me an error because I haven't created this yet. I'm going to repeat for uh, the afternoon. Afternoon message. And I'm going to call this one label strings dot afternoon message label. And I'm going to add one in, let me make sure I've got that. Open curly bracket, close bracket. I'll do a final one for property pane text field. And this is evening message. So you've imagined it will work out the time and it will say good morning, uh, good afternoon or uh, good evening. Okay, so this is going to be uh, strings dot evening message label. Okay, and let's make that's all right. So we're missing three descriptions in here. We're also missing morning message, afternoon message, and evening message. Okay, so how do we add these in? Well, I need to find my properties. Now, if you're looking through the folder, you notice it's got I welcome props in here. And this will be under components, I welcome uh, props.ts. And we're going to add these into here. So we've got morning message, the string, afternoon message as a string, and we've got evening message as a string. Now I need to be careful here. I'm going back to my welcome web part and I'm going to go down here and make sure I've got the case correct because it is case uh, sensitive. So morning message there with a capital M, M and a capital M. Okay, excellent. So that's uh, in there, but you notice I'm still getting errors up here. That's because I'm not passing it through. It's expecting a morning message um, etc. So what I'm going to do, look at this, this.properties.description, I'm going to do 
morning message is this dot properties dot morning message that I'm doing afternoon message is this dot properties dot afternoon message and then finally evening message this dot properties dot evening message so it's not finding those let's find out why well that's because we need to add them to this properties here so quite a few places to wire it up morning message is a, is a string afternoon message is a string and then evening message is a string so we've had to add them to this web part properties we've had to add them to the welcome properties and now our error message has gone away it's basically saying whatever you get from the properties down here evening message afternoon morning message it will store them quite magically against these properties and we can then pass those in to our web part when we render them however we've still got this error here look these um, strings dot evening afternoon and morning they need to appear in the lo local file here and you'll notice in here we've got our description field label so we're going to put in here morning message label and this is what's going to go uh, in the properties box when we show it so the message to show in the morning then we're going to have afternoon message label and this is the message to show in the afternoon and then finally evening message label to show in the evening okay right so now hopefully our errors will go away in a, in a second and so now now we've added those there's finally one more place we need to put these in and this is in the welcome web part string um, interface here okay and that is found in mystrings.d.ts so you've got the, the strings go in there then we have to just tell them that they exist here and we do morning message label string afternoon message label string and we have evening message label string excellent so they're all wired up there if we go back here evening message label should be a capital l and all of our errors go away so now when we run our web part using gulp serve now when we add our web part so when we have our welcome web part we can now look at our properties and you can see that we've got the message to show in the morning the afternoon and the evening so I'm going to say good morning good afternoon and I'm going to put time to go home and that will save those properties with that web part so I'm going to close that now if I go back in and look at those properties there they are but nothing has happened here so very quickly we're going to go into the code and I'm going to look through in the welcome.tsx file, which is rendering it. And you notice it's got all these extra bits in here. If I look back at my page, it's got all these links in here. It's got all this text in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this UL group. I'm gonna get rid of the H4 group. And I'm going to get rid of uh, this div here with the H3. So everything that's in, in there, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a message in here where it says, well done, 
in my web part, well done, I'm going to just simply say good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. So we're going to make sure that we can get our messages out of here. So I'm going to say morning message, afternoon message, and evening message. So I'm going to get the time of day. I'm going to get the hour. I'm then going to set which message to use. I'm going to say if the hour is less than midday, then use the morning message. Otherwise, I'm going to say if the hour is greater than or equal to 12 and less than 18, whoop, use the afternoon message, else use the evening message. Okay, excellent. And then finally, instead of well done, I'm simply going to say message. Fantastic. So now if I save this, and it's going to restart here as it's running my web part in the background, Going to check here and you'll notice it's good afternoon because at the time of recording it is 12.25. So we know that will work on there. I'm also going to get rid of a couple of little other bits which were annoying me like this image. And I'm going to get rid of these bits here. Remove the unused variables. So today we've added some properties to our web part. Tune in next time where we'll expand the web part even more and move on to looking at how we can read from lists. If you haven't done already, please click the subscribe button so you can be notified when the next episode drops. I'll see you next time.